Hey, this is Ralph, and I'm still working on a solution to our uh, basic queries homework assignment. And you can download the original database and the homework directions in the video description. So let's see, I'm working on task 9 in the directions. And let me go ahead and uh, the last query we did was our January rentals. Let me go and close this. I'm going to create a new query in design view. And let's see, what is this one? On task 9, most popular rentals, shows the movie title and the count of rental IDs, sort in descending order, show the top 25. So for this one, I need movie titles. I know that's in my movies table. And I know I'm counting rental IDs because the directions tell me so. So I'll go to my video rentals table. Close that. Don't need my customers table. So I'm looking at movie titles and rental IDs. That is it. Those are the only two fields I need. Now in order to do a count, that's an aggregate function, so I'm going to display my totals row just by clicking the sum button up in the ribbon. It shows my totals row. I'm going to group by movie title and I'm going to give myself a count of the rental IDs. If I run this, you'll see that I now have movie titles and the count of those movie titles. This one had a couple things though. I want to sort in descending order. So I'll sort in descending order by rental ID. That's going to show the greatest count at the top. So I can see that Metropolis and Spirited Away in the sixth sense were the most popular rentals. But I also only want to show the top 25. Um, in my design ribbon, I'm going to return, not all, I'm going to return the top 25. And then I can run that. And there we go. And I will, of course, this one's actually giving me 26 results because there was a tie um, for some of the numbers. So close enough though. We got our we got a pretty good value there. The the top 25 values. And now we can see the most rented movies. I'm gonna do file, save object as, and let's call this one, it tells me what to call it, most popular rentals, if I can spell it. There we go. And the next one is task 10. Create a query saved as heavy renters. It shows the customer ID, customer name, and the count of rental IDs. We want to find out who does the most renting. So I'm going to just jump over to uh, home and I'll close this query. I'm going to create another query in design view. And this is going to deal with customers in video rentals. And I am supposed to display customer ID, customer name, and the count of rental IDs. Got my totals row, turn that on. By the way, don't turn on the totals row unless you need it. Uh, totals row, and I'm going to, once again, I'm going to count rental IDs, sort in descending order, and then run this. And now I can see who is renting the most movies. And it looks like Scott, Nicole, and Renee are our top customers. All right, that takes care of that one. File, save object as. This is called heavy renters. All right, now there was actually a couple more queries you needed to make, but these were very open-ended. Create an original query. This is task 11. Create an original query for yourself that seems like a realistic thing that you, the store owner, would want to know. Save the query with a descriptive name, and then I want you to do that again. So basically, um, I came up with a, you know half a dozen or so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, different rentals. Now we're going to be using this database again because there's a number of queries I can think of that I'd like you to be able to do. They're maybe considered a little bit trickier. For instance, if we use the date diff function, we can find out how many days a person had a movie out, and then we could even charge late fees based on a certain, you know, if they went over that. I'm not asking you to really push that at the moment though. But you might do some other things. Um, for instance, what is the uh, um, we can certainly do a count of movies that were checked out by title. But maybe you could uh, do a few combinations. Like, I'm curious, what are the most popular bad movies? You know, um, find out what are, or if we had the ratings on there, you can compare. Are people checking out bad movies as much as they're checking out the good movies? Um, and stuff like that. So have fun, make up some different queries, and just get into using that design grid in query design and access. All right, talk to you soon.